Well, if your child is still telling you their homework isn't all that hard, could be because teachers often have to spend the first couple of weeks of school just reviewing. In today's What's Cool in Our School, a Woodbury teacher creates a website to help launch her second graders into third grade. Did you guys watch this one this summer? Did you see this yeah. one? Yeah. Megan Zachman teaches second grade at Middleton Elementary in Woodbury. The summer was coming up and it came about that it would be really neat to create video lessons for my students so that they could keep their skills and maintain those skills throughout summer. So Zachman built a website. The name of the website is almost a third grader. It took all the different aspects of the grade, math, reading, um, science, which the older boys participated in. This was at the end of the <laughs> Oh, the year. egg, yeah. <laughs> Danae Timmerman's daughter, Marin, was eager to get online. Her summer experience was markedly different from her older siblings. Yeah. Well, first of all, Marin stayed engaged throughout the summer, whereas the others, it, they did their reading, but it didn't go much beyond that. When I was in second grade, I kept seeing this. Emerson would much rather sit at a computer than do a worksheet in a workbook over the summer. Barbara Seekin says her son took to the website immediately. Not only is it on the computer, it's flexible. Children can go on and do them at their leisure or in and out of different uh, orders. They can pick which ones they like. There are 36 video lessons, a labor of love for a teacher who did this on her own time. I spent about five hours on every video, with which includes writing a script, creating braining, brainstorming, um, filming, and editing, and all that. Zachman credits her teaching team for helping out, and even though the intent was to help Middleton students, the site is getting attention elsewhere. And we've been noticing people um, accessing it from Florida and from Texas and California. I've been getting some notes from Virginia. Third grade is pivotal for students. Reading and math move into higher levels of comprehension, retaining a solid base from second grade is key to a student's success. That's why it's great to use adjectives, mm -hmm. isn't it? Parents have one of their own adjectives for the site. It's been fabulous and it's free. <laughs> Yeah, did you hear that? The website and all its lessons are free. We have a link on carelovin.com after the show. Look in the sunrise section on the homepage. And go to the What's Cool in Our School section to let us know what's happening in your school. Sven's happening right now with the forecast. Yeah, I'm, uh, we're looking at uh, some showers in, to western Minnesota, but I wanted to show you uh, in Colorado for a minute. We're talking about uh, potentially up around Loveland Pass, a mixture of some snow uh, for potentially the first time this season. So. Things are starting to happen. Uh, getting some reports there, some spotty reports that that's happening, and they're talking about potentially starting to make snow at those higher elevations here within a week or two. So things are changing. The season's changing. Not here this morning, though. It feels like it's July, 71 degrees, dew point near 70. We've got some clouds out there and some thunder showers in western Minnesota that are kind of falling apart. This is leftover activity from the overnight hours into South Dakota. A couple spotty storms were around the metro earlier, but those have all collapsed. Things are pretty quiet. We're looking for the potential for redevelopment, though, this afternoon as cooler air moves in already. We're going to return to fall tomorrow, and along this front, you can see a broken line of showers and clouds. That's the cool front that's going to be sweeping across Minnesota and potentially touching off some of those thunderstorms this afternoon, where we'll see a little sun, though, further east. That's where it's possible to see some stronger storms later today. We're on the western edge of a slight risk of severe weather today. I do think the best chance will be closer towards Eau Claire and Rochester, some of those areas, but it is going to be warm. Uh, temperatures near 80 today. We're already into the 70s, muggy, and then as we head into tomorrow, temperatures are going to be significantly cooler in the 60s to 50s even in northern Minnesota tomorrow. So near 80 today, the mugginess is around much of the day. Overnight, we'll see that drier air move in and cooler air. It'll be in the 50s by this time tomorrow already. 65 only tomorrow, a cooler, windy day. Things calm down for the weekend. Looks pretty nice, actually. 65 Saturday, 70 for the first afternoon of fall. It starts at 3.54 p.m. in the northern hemisphere. So there we go. Things look pretty good, though, for those first days of fall into the 70s next week. That was ideal, actually. We have that roller coaster thing. You think probably no more 80s, or is that still possible? Uh, you know, actually, next week we could be close to 80 again, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it off yet. If you were the type of person who was known to wear a Speedo and a shawl, you'd keep the Speedo out for a while. Yeah, I, Pete should do that.
Well, there we go. We just heard it from the man himself. Can't put Not only does he wear a Speedo <laughs> and a shawl, he also can talk like a pirate on this International Talk Like a Pirate Day. I actually can, and I like to do it once in a while, and I'll do it when I do the traffic, because you know what? I've got mateys out there, and everybody else waiting on board the ship saying, how can I sail through rush hour? Will I make it? Will I get there in one, one one easy drive time. You will on 35E at 96. If you're hungry for some bacon and liver this morning, 484 at France will get you there in time to eat it and uh, drive down in Burnsville, 35, at Crystal Lake Road. It's looking slow. Walk the plank. Show me a drive time. Bring it on. There it is. Double digits. I got a bag of gold and a pocket full of lint. <laughs> and I'm ready for rush out. We think you went Irish, uh, a little Western in there, a little... A little minor, a little... It's pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I am a pirate. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Pete. Arr. All right. Well, don't rush to cash in those Powerball tickets this morning unless, of course, you purchased them in South Carolina recently. There was just one winning ticket for last night's $400 million Powerball drawing, and yes, it was sold in Lexington, South Carolina. You know, six people also won a million dollars each. They matched all five numbers without the Powerball, but none of those were sold in our area either. The winning numbers, just for the record, 7, 10, 22, 32, 35, and the Powerball, 19. We're back at work, and yes, you've got to go too. <laughs> Coffee with Care brings you the third annual Smiles for Miles 5K. Yeah, the proceeds will be shared between two organizations, the Powder Puff Clown Club and Wishes and More. Smiles for Miles features a silent auction, awards, prizes, entertainment, and light-up costume contest, which I think will be awesome. The date is Saturday, September 21st at Locke County Park in Fridley. Register early online to get your discount. The opening ceremony begins at 6 p.m. For more information, visit the link at care11.com. Just click on community because that, folks, that's where you find coffee with care. We're getting a bird's eye view of the European Alps from a new video that is, as you might guess, going viral. And a bird's eye view of the U.S. economy may not be going viral, but we'll be talking with an expert from the Census Bureau about that new report out today. Cool in School, presented by the Minnesota College Savings Plan. Visit mnsaves.org today. Need to start saving for college? Minnesota has a 529 plan that makes it easy to start and easy to save for your child's future college education. Minnesota's College Savings Plan. After all, it could come in handy. Learn more at mnsaves.org slash hoops.